This is Jonathan Agnew here for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Ishmael Salas here at the Joe Joyce versus Christian Hammer press conference. Ishmael, how are you finding London? Yeah, I'm finding a little a bit cold because I'm coming from Vegas, so there right now it's very hot. And here is, you know, the weather is nice. I like it's nice. But sometimes rain, sometimes sunny, and you know, but I, I love it. I, I love, I like it, London. Joe Joyce, back in the ring on Saturday night. How, you've worked with so many great fighters. How do you compare Joe Joyce compared to the great best fighters you've worked with? Yeah, no, it's, it's a, the, the most important thing from Joe Joyce, he, he loves to listen. He loves to learn. So we've been together for a, a few years. They have a time when I, I was separated because of my many injured. Because he's a side. I like to take punch from, you know, look my size. But uh, I am very happy to be back and working with him because he's an amazing person, Joe Joyce. As, as a fighter, he's very good. But more important for me is as a person. You've worked also with David Hay. Uh, yeah. Both Hay and Joyce are big punchers. How do you compare the power of Hay and Joyce? Uh, Joyce is the, is the strat. Okay, let me tell you. David Hay was a one punch KO. But in, in Joe Joyce's case, is the, the strat. He, 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 he distraction. He, anyone he touch can feel. And no, it's no, maybe no one punch KO, but the, his intensity through the fight is no heavy weight right now can compare with uh, Joe Joyce. I compare Joe Joyce like a Joe Foreman in prison day. Since his last fight against Carlos Takam, what have you guys been working on? Yeah, uh, number one, uh, uh, for that fight, Joe, Joe lost uh, mobility. He was, he was uh, uh, stiff. Um, I tried to bring all the mobility uh, Joe, Joe need, need to have for that fight, you know. To, I mean, when I'm talking about mobility, he's, he's, uh, he had to be all package. He very good in in offensive, offensive he kept very good, but defensive is he, he was lacking because too slow, too uh, too uh, robotic, uh, you know. But my my point always with Joe is uh, mobility and coordination in his motion. No? What do you want to see from Joe this Saturday? Do you want to see a big knockout early win? Yeah, um, we're looking for. We be, uh, really Joe Joe is being doing with me a lot of a sparring round so uh, we are ready because we was preparing for jo Joseph Park and he, he pulled out but we did not break the, the training program so that's why we choose that's why we choose uh, uh, Christian Hema because uh, he's a durable guy so Jojo is ready for if we if we had to fight all round Jojo is ready physically but I don't think really this this fight can go over five rounds I don't think so now Joe has a very good position with the WBO behind Alexander Usyk who's facing Anthony Joshua again how do you think Joe Joyce would do against Anthony Joshua for example yeah um, you know uh, no no one will tell you no trainer will work for loss you know what I mean so I am kind of uh, winner mind always and I try to give this energy to all my fighters uh, and by coincidence I've been in, in so many times I have more than 170 title match so we've been in, in position many times under that and we take over so like a Pacquiao when he fought with Dugas, you know, he was totally underdog. And I have many, many, many of my fighters. So uh, the, the fight will be a great fight if AJ beat uh, Yusik in the rematch. Uh, anyway, we we expect any 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 of them music or, or AJ becoming will be great for Joe Joyce, you know. Talking about Joshua versus Usyk, if you were training Joshua for that fight, what would you be telling him to do to win the rematch? Yeah, for me, uh, 
what uh, he was missing in the la in the death fight, no, uh, Joshua. I mean, he was missing uh, the coordination in between right hand and left hand. Okay, to beat to beat uh, Yusik, number one thing, he, uh, uh, Joshua had to have his uh, straight straight punch, right hand. I mean, just right in the pipe, no, what we said in, in boxing. So after that, he had to finish it up with a uh, left hand, left hook, no. So, the ma main co co combination for AJ is a right with left hook, right with left hook cut. So, in, in that fight, he was only one punch. As a heavyweight, he don't need a big combination of punch. Yeah, very simple, very, very basic. I think if we go more to basic, and I believe now with Robert Garcia, he will, uh, Robert Garcia will be the, uh, we will take the best of AJ. And I, I hope uh, everything went fine with them, you know. And uh, just finally, Rabesi Ramirez, a lot of people are excited about him, a great win over Abraham Nova. Just talk to me about where you see sort of the next year for Rabesi. Yeah, a good thing coming up. Uh, the last fight, last two, two Saturday, we fought in New York, in the Madison Square Garden, and he showed with the top, uh, with one top contender and defeated guy 21 and 0 in that time. Uh, Nova, and um, he 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 showed the best version of him in professional because he, as you know, he he was two-time Olympic gold medal, all right, but his pro debut he lost. No, was not with us. And then he came to me, and he started to, you know, increase his his things because to work with kind of fighter like uh, Robesi Ramirez. You have to teach him by in very high standard. He cannot go with anyone else. Ishmael Salas, thanks for talking to Pro Boxing fans. Best of luck with Joe Joyce on Saturday. Thank you.